In this video, we are heading about an hour northeast from the city center to one of the most mysterious archaeological sites in the world, Teotihuacan. Good morning, everyone, from the pyramids of Teotihuacan. Just woke up really early this morning and decided to come. We got an Uber from Mexico City. It was about one hour drive. It was quite nice to come really early in the morning. Um, oh, I have a friend right here. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Anthony. He's setting up the big camera now and we'll get some nice footage from the pyramids and some history as well. Oh, another friend. <laughs> the entrance fee for this archaeological site is 80 pesos and you don't have to book in advance. But keep in mind that they charge an extra 50 pesos for the access of cameras. They are open every day of the year, from 9am to 3pm. But if you're planning on visiting, just double check opening times on their website as there might be changes due to COVID restrictions. First of all, Teotihuacan is huge at around 652 acres. That's like 188 football pitches. The first area we entered was the citadel, located nearest to the main entrance. We then walked along the causeway of the dead, a two kilometer path that connects all the main sites. Shortly after, we arrived at the biggest pyramid, the Pyramid of the Sun. And at the end of the causeway, we made it to the Pyramid of the Moon. So I was just talking to one of the guys, um, the tour guides, and he was explaining that Teotihuacan actually means the, the city of the gods. Look how steep these are. The citadel is in front of the main entrance. This large square space is surrounded by various pyramid structures and is thought to have been the administrative center of the site where many events were held. Located in this area is also the temple of Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent god. A tunnel was recently found underneath the temple when a sinkhole appeared after a rainstorm. Thousands of artifacts have been discovered. Each discovery gives a better understanding of these ancient times. The Avenue of the Dead is about 2 kilometers long and was thought to be named by the Aztecs due to the tomb-like structures surrounding it. However, these structures were actually residences and pyramids. When walking around the site, you get a feel of how big it actually is. It was once the sixth biggest city in the world during the 4th century and housing up to 150,000 people during its peak. The Pyramid of the Sun is the biggest pyramid in the whole site at 65 meters tall, similar height to the Tower Bridge in London. It's composed of six pyramids on top of each other and until today, the purpose of the pyramid is unknown. So that over there is the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon. This place is bigger than we thought. Massive. Yeah. They would sacrifice people based on, like, say, the prettiest girl in um, in the whole town. Like, so, so does that mean you you would be sacrificed? <laughs> yeah, they used to have this game, and the winner of the game, the whole team, was sacrificed. So if you win, you get killed. Like yeah. every every time they would make like a sacrifice or something, yeah. it was for say more rain or that wouldn't work in England. <laughs> I'd be like sacrificing everyone no, every yeah. day <laughs> because she wants sand. Jaguar, amigo. <laughs> 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 
Pyramid of the Moon is the second largest pyramid in Teotihuacan at 43 meters tall. This is a similar height to the Colosseum in Rome. This pyramid is believed to have been where human and animal sacrifices took place. It's like 11.30 and it's getting a bit busier so that's why it's nice to come. Mm. As soon as they open. It's getting hot out as well. Yeah, it's really it's getting really hot. Yeah. We need we need an ice cream. Something really cold because I'm melting. Yeah. It's so hot. So In Coyoacán me gusta estar porque pura gente bonita hay. Just do it. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you.